A dirty little secret exposed. It affects me in two ways. One, I feel sorry for the female individual uh, that she had to succumb to something like that. Mm -hmm. And two, it, it uh, alarms me that the scumbag that did it is is in my neighborhood, is on my ranch, is in near my house. Women are being raped at the hands of human smugglers. Our Melissa Correa spent months digging up details of the sex crimes. Tonight, a Channel 5 News investigation. Secrets in the brush. We're joining you tonight from the banks of the Rio Grande, along a path cleared by all the folks who've crossed into the U.S. illegally. Tonight, a rare glimpse into the sex crimes that happen along these smuggling trails. Mary Lou Noelle Ala Santos crossed into the U.S. September of 2012. She and her sister were plucked from a group of illegal immigrants somewhere along the river. They were taken to a motel. They were raped repeatedly. Mary Lou's sister managed to escape and get help. Mary Lou disappeared a year and a half ago. Tonight, her family and friends wait to hear from her. Authorities think she's tangled in a sex trafficking ring. Mary Lou is one of countless women who cross into the U.S. illegally, only to be targeted and raped at the hands of their human smuggler. A successful smuggling operation works under the radar. It's buried in the brush. No trace of illegal immigrants. No record of human smugglers. No proof of the path taken to enter the United States. A person's life forced into the hands of a stranger. You just don't know who you're dealing with in these stash houses. Mary Lou Noeli Ala Santos never made it to a stash house. Authorities say she was plucked from a group, thrown into a large dark colored vehicle. The mother of two was last seen September 2012, possibly in the McAllen area. But she hasn't surfaced. Authorities suspect the Mexican national is now tangled in a sex trafficking ring. They fear the brown-eyed wife is being raped repeatedly. Rape routinely happens on the smuggling ground. The landscape in Brooks County is as majestic as it is mysterious. A walk through thickets is required to avoid detection at a Border Patrol checkpoint. Tonight, women, someone's mother, wife, sister, or daughter is likely walking through this brush with men they don't know. And they're outnumbered. These photos released to Channel 5 News by ranchers show the odds stacked up against them. A few women in a large group of men, a lot of them refuse to tell authorities details of their journey. Details turned secrets in the brush. But you can see some of the damage to the fence. Linda Vickers has an idea. I, I'm always looking. She made a disturbing discovery just a few weeks ago. Found a torn black bra and a small lady's purse uh, hanging in the tree. I first noticed it and, uh, you know, then stopped and got a better uh, view of it. And uh, when I saw it, I automatically called uh, the authorities. She snapped this photo before authorities collected the items for evidence. This case will likely go cold. I have seen this before many, many years ago and did not realize what I was looking at. Uh, as the years progress and, and the illegal activity increases, especially in this area, it, it's become uh, uh, well known what these you know, stand for. Um, what are they? They're called rape trees. Trees used to camouflage the crime that can happen anywhere between the banks of the Rio Grande and ranch land 70 miles north. Vickers says other ranchers made the same discoveries. Because it looks so staged, I don't think they realize what they're seeing when they first see uh, uh, bras or panties in a tree. No one knows how many rape trees exist. Have you heard about that? You know, I've, I've heard about the rape tree uh, 
Look, the, the rape, it doesn't matter where it occurs. You know, we've seen cases where women are pulled out of a stash house and maybe taken to a hotel for a couple hours and then brought back to the stash house. So you are no longer in control of your life once you put your hands in, in, the, in, you know, in your trust in the hands of these criminal organizations. The U.S. Border Patrol is aware of rape along smuggling routes. We, we have several cases where, you know, they're assaulting uh, women, underage women sometimes. Uh, they're abusing these aliens, uh, these nationals that are coming here, you know, uh, where their dream turns into a nightmare at the hands of these ruthless individuals. It's unclear how many smugglers have laid hands on women. Every law enforcement agency keeps its own records. Some don't distinguish between a victim's immigration status. Valley Border Patrol agents are seeing a spike in sex crimes. Eight women reported rape to an agent in fiscal year 2012. 40 came forward in 2013. Those are assaults that are reported to us or we become uh, you know, aware of. Uh, there could be a, a much larger number, uh, which is even more troubling. Deputies in Brooks County know the truth is somewhere in the treacherous terrain. A lot of circumstances and details that stay out there that we'll never know. The sex crimes are stacking up, oftentimes the only evidence, clothing, a black t-shirt, jeans. Limited details are documented on an evidence collection kit, a woman's report of the violation that happened somewhere in Brooks County. It's difficult to put the case together when, when that happens. Authorities don't have a when or where. Mesquite trees mask the mystery. Wind wipes away the details. The secrets stay in the brush. I'm sure that a lot of them, are there just the fact that they're here, you know, undocumented, so they're not going to step up and say, look, I, I, something happened to me. Making a cry for help is out of the question. Coming out of the shadows means their journey, all that suffering, that violation of their body, was for nothing. They know in their soul, reporting the crime would cost them everything. I think it's a dirty little secret. Uh, you know, plus it's it's a crime that is has come and gone. And at this point, you know, nothing can really be done about it. Fear continues to creep into the county. Yeah, it, it makes me very uneasy. As time goes on, I feel more unsafe on my own property. On a property 70 miles south of here, Mary Lou Santos's life changed. Tonight, authorities assume she's still being raped. So many women seeking the American dream, only to be caught up in a never-ending nightmare. Their secrets buried in the brush. Melissa Correa, Channel 5 News at 10, Brooks County. A Channel 5 News tracking rape along the smuggling trail for more than a year. A year ago, a Honduran woman told the Fed she was raped by three human smugglers at a stash house near Hidalgo. A woman from El Salvador claims a pair of smugglers raped her at gunpoint in Brooks County. The smugglers left her for dead when she could no longer keep up with the group. We told you about women who take highly concentrated shots of birth control ahead of their elite legal journey into this U.S. so they don't get pregnant. We've reported on smugglers who get prison time for rape. Some of those smugglers are teens. Police in Mission investigated the rape of a teen from El Salvador. The 13-year-old girl escaped and flagged down a driver for help. That was back in April, and we reported then rape kits for illegal immigrants were piling up at local departments. In November, we shared the concerns of the Guatemalan consul. More women were coming forward to report rape. And you can find those reports along with a hotline to the U.S. Border Patrol on our website, krgv.com.